Hello, I'm Miss Donna, and today I'm going to read a very important book called The Librarian of Basra, A Tale from Iraq by Jeanette Winter, which is, who is the illustrator and the author. This book is about people protecting themselves and protecting something very special f during a time of war. So parents, you may want to discuss it a little bit for your child, as is appropriate. But it's a book about a librarian being a hero. Librarians are heroes every day, but this librarian is a really special hero. The Librarian of Basra, A Tale from Iraq. In the Quran, the first thing God said to Muhammad was read. And that's a quote from Alia Muhammad Bakir in the New York Times on July 27th, 2003. Alia Muhammad Bakir is the librarian of Basra, a port city in the sand-swept country of Iraq. Her library is a meeting place for all who love books. They discuss matters of the world and matters of the spirit. Until now. Now all they talk of is war. Will planes with bombs fill the sky? Will bombs fall here? Will soldiers with guns fill the street? Who among us will die? Will our families survive? What can we do? Such worry. Alia worries that the fires of war will destroy the books, which are more precious to her than mountains of gold. The books are in every language, new books, ancient books, even a biography of Muhammad that is 700 years old. She asks the governor for permission to move the books to a safe place. He refuses. So Alia takes matters in her own hand. Secretly, she brings books home every night, filling her car after work. The whispers of war grow louder. Government offices are moved into the library. Soldiers with guns wait on the roof. Alia waits and fears the worst. Then, rumors of war become a reality. War reaches Basra. The city is lit with a firestorm of bombs and gunfire. Alia watches as, li as library workers, government workers, and soldiers abandon the library. She calls over the library wall to her friend, Anis Mohammed, who owns a restaurant on the other side. Can you help me save the books? I can use these curtains to wrap them. Here are crates for my shop. Can you use these sacks? The books must be saved. All through the night, Alia, Anis, his brothers, and shopkeepers and neighbors take the books from the library shelves, pass them over the seven-foot wall, and hide them in Anis's restaurant. The books stay hidden as war rages on. Then, nine days later, a fire burns the library to the ground. The next day, soldiers come to Anise's restaurant. Why do you have a gun, they ask. To protect my business, Anise responds. The soldiers leave without searching inside. They do not know that the whole of the library is in the restaurant. At last, the beast of war moves on. Alia knows that if the books are to be safe, they must be moved again while the city is quiet. So she hires a truck to bring all 30,000 books to her house and to the houses of friends. In Alia's house, books are everywhere, filling floors and cupboards and windows, leaving barely enough for anything else.
Ali awaits. She waits and dreams of a new library. She waits for war to end. She waits and dreams of peace. But until then, the books are safe. Safe with the librarian of Basra. What a hero. Thank you for reading this book. I hope you take very good care of yourselves.